Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where we're still in a brothel because Raphael freaking won't stop following me. And apparently there's a third floor to this place that I missed. Did you? Hello? Locked basement? Oh hello. Sauceman? Chores? Not that type of service down here, love. <laughs> I've got a husband. And you ain't my type. Nah. Um. <laughs> no, please. Oh my gosh. He's handsome. Uh, well, is he. And this chore, chores. Is that like. A, there's like a meme or something with that? I don't know. Um. Got any food? I suppose. If you're willing to pay I'm for it. I'm not looking for a service down here. I was just curious. Nope. You don't have anything I want. Now get out from under my. Okay, bye. I don't blame him. He probably gets people like drunk people wandering in here being like This man <laughs> This man probably has to put up with so much he gets home and his husband he's like, Darling Ah, and his husband's like, tell me about it. Tell me. Just tell, sit down. Here's a glass of wine. <laughs> tell me about your day for the, tw like, 22 years in a row or whatever. That was the finest strudel I've made. And they just ate it off each other's ass. How did you know? How do you know that, brother? But yeah, I think if you are, if you're a cook, might be a bit hard being in a place like this. Unless it was also noticed as, like, a fine dining restaurant. Oh, we are being so visible. There's a secret room here. And the... Um, it doesn't look like there's a... Uh, well, there's a way maybe... No, because this is like a balcony here. Oh, but yeah, this is the ground floor. I can't... Who has rocks for brains? She mind my steps. Let's see if Asterion can manage. Just like there's a difference. Nice. Oh. He's kinda out of range. Come on, 32 for a 10 door. Jeez Louise. Listen, I have to know. We'll just keep distracting this guy. Rat? Okay, I need to pickpocket the rat? What? Okay, anyway, I need to send a potion of animal speaking. Split item, I guess. And send one to Asterion. Asterion. Oh, uh, should I close the door? I should close the door. I do not want to hear some of these conversations that are happening. Freaking, he does have an arrow of transposition. Gosh, freaking dang it. It's fine. Okay, does he get to just have it now? Sick. Okay, until a long rest. Okay. Asteria? Talk to the rat. No, I don't want to pickpocket the rat. Just talk to the rat. Halt! Oh, Oh, yeah? I am reclaiming the victuals in this basement for the good of rat kind. I can never know. I don't know if it's victuals, victuals, or vittles. How are you supposed to pronounce this word? Uh, which one? I don't care. Then leave me to it. Okay, that's it. That's that's definitely something uh, Asterian would say. Baby blue. Or oh, an orange? I don't want an orange. Step like. Or a happy apple. Is this really just a regular old basement? Oh, no. Okay. Sedition? Mm, 
I actually I trust the brothel more than I trust any other place in this town. I'm also curious if that woman was getting the fist guy drunk so that she could, um, I don't know, figure out if, what sort of shenanigans are going on. Because, I don't know, I'm used to Assassin's Creed where, like, the brothel owners are, like, super heavily involved in local politics. And they're, like, uh, you can kind of, like, either hear things or, like, like at least get, do an information gathering thing kind of on the side. Or, uh, and it's not just Assassin's Creed, it's a lot of stories where, like, brothel owners will have, like, a, on, basically be information brokers also. Um, and I think they're usually... <laughs> Usually on the side of good? I don't know. Like, I don't know how to say it, like, necessarily, where they're, like, they don't want evil people to take over. They're just people trying to do their jobs at a brothel. You know what I mean? Like, and when the city gets upends itself, it's bad for business, you know? And so... There did happen to be this, like, little... Oh, did he get caught? Kind of. I closed it. I closed it. We're good. Is that blood? No. Never mind. Okay. Now, oh, wrong, wrong place. I need to go over here. Time to press ahead. Um. He said he rented a room. I mean, this looks like a. Oh, okay. I was like, it looks kind of like a room, but where are we going? Oh. <sighs> I love these lamps. What is it called? A purulent bulb? Purulent. Well, this is locked. Deal with the devil. Uh, there's so many black spaces up here. When you've met the drought. I don't necessarily. I don't really want to be breaking in. Let's see, let's see. Let's They're in. It's on you, buddy. Asteria would be the one to be the least embarrassed by walking in on somebody, too. Mm. Ooh, a bath. Oh, never mind. Bye. Okay. Gosh dang it. But now I'm like, crap. I should probably bring my cell. So I mean, I should probably leave Karlak behind for now. Because she's another warrior. Okay. I've got a long road Just in case. Just to be safe, I will go grab Lazelle. Then she gets to have her turn on Baldur's Gate and gets her turn to have an existential crisis. So. I do, I mean, Karlak is a native Baldurian, so I'm like, nah. But. A private word would be nice. Where do I get the nice armor? Baldur's Gate at last. Yep. Okay. Make space and my might ready for okay. battle. Okay. Does she? Yeah, she needs to. How many? Probably a lot. It was really fun having the girl squad back when we could do a girl squad, but now Shadowheart's dead, and I just realized that we can't do a full girl squad anymore. So that's cool. Death of the girl squad. Uh -huh. The size of your superiority die increases. I did, I know they mean like 
the face number, right? But like, it is kind of funny where it's like, oh yeah, your D6? Just as big, it's just bigger, you know? <laughs> just, the size of your die has increased. Congratulations, you know? What does maneuver do? I don't know. What I know. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Wow, you get a bunch of these. Oh, sure, I'll do the trip attack and the sweeping attack. I am burdened with what? Oh. Well, let's send one to Gale and one to Will, and then we can have them try them on. Does Lazelle have sufficient weaponry? She does have a really cool thingamajig. Yeah, I think she's is. What are we supposed to do with the Githyanki egg? I will never know never a dull moment. what we're supposed to do with the Githyanki egg. I would leave Asterion behind, but we need him to open doors. A part of me is like, oh, maybe we should sneak into those rooms where people are having sex and, like, see if there's any signs of sedition. But, like, at that point, I just become a paranoid, like, I don't know, CIA agent or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I have... Wait, is that blood? That's gotta be, like, flat, like, leaves, right? I did technically go into this room so I can see it grayed out. I think those are like petals. Or, or leaves. Don't swear. You don't have to think about it. Oh, thing. I don't want to hear it. Flat on my feet. Oh, I think those must be petals. Don't touch I'm not those. going to touch you. you always say that. Easy. I don't know if Lazelle's met Raphael yet. No time to rest. Right, I will open the door. Who is it? There's chains. There's a bathtub. Is this not I guess it's not technically surgical bed. Ugh. Skeleton? Something good here, I hope. Elminster's library. Elminster has a whole room. So I was thinking people were getting freaky, but apparently there's a whole room at Charesse's caress. Boy? And he's got <laughs> It's too bad Gail isn't here. Might have to bring Gail back. <laughs> I was like, people get weird in here. <laughs> Are we just, this is just roof access? Wait, is, I was like, is that a bird's nest? It is not. What is the point of roof access? Mm, I could sneak into this side? I think I already opened this one. Yeah, I can just... This is the room I need to get into. Um... Oh, I guess... Well, no, that's... There's stairs to that. I'm, like, trying to figure out what the purpose of this would be. Maybe if I walk up. I sense some has it kind of seems like this room... Because we came out of this one. This one is locked and potentially not accessible from over here. So maybe... Let's go, guys. I don't have I don't have the time. What the Hop on down, buddy. If you jump back up, I swear. Do it. 
jump. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. A crooked touch. Oh dang! I didn't even realize difficulty twenty. All right, you open the door. But I'll walk in first if I. Oh. <gasps> but what I need, you do have, and never. Oh. You underestimate the forgotten prince's closest sword. So I could have just gone in that way. All right. Well, uh, maybe I will. Although to be fair, I may have trapped a Starian. Okay, Asterion can he can wait there. I'll jump back up alive, and go through so the door. That's progress. This one's also unlocked already. Let's see. Hello. I heard you boys arguing. The Devil's if Den. You had any bargaining chips? They all rather floated off into the astral. Where did Asterion go? <laughs> Oh, it's playing spooky music for him. I will pay any toll, serve any foul wish, name the price. To free the Is prince? No, I didn't. You must Dang it. hear me, devil. I will do whatever it His takes. His face is messed Give up. anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. That's not what he's about. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Do I? Lazel, to Lak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. With the devil? Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But, to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin. Yeah, though. I feel like I should bring Asterion. Do you have Mole? Oh dear. Oh, what have you done? Messing, I should not have come up here. Devils are bad news. For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Um, what did you do? I gave you back your privacy yeah. by shutting that illithid in your pocket out of your mind. Oh. It can't hear us. Not the tadpole, but the, my illithid friend. Okay, hang on. Yeah. You come on in, bucko. At least, you know, be over in the vicinity. Okay. Oh, the others started. Okay, everybody just calm down. trust the illithid. I mean, I do trust the illithid more than I trust him, but that's kind of dumb. Then speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Yeah, but I give you my soul. Let us speak plain. I'll admit you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this He's far. He's so charming. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. Poignant. 
A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. If he's going to say what my Rest, thought is... It will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. Which at least you the devils the give you. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Orpheus? No. The prism itself? In a manner of speaking. It is the Orpheus. One inside the prism that Sorry, you I read ahead. Not the Elithid, the Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Oh. Oh, so Orpheus could fight the elder brain okay i wasn't sure if Raphael was going to say what i'm thinking is that i think i should be less illithid i mean yeah because i i mean they still can like psychically attack you but i think they can't control you that's why they're implanting the tadpoles into everybody right it's because then the elder brain has control over the thoughts and minds once the tadpole is in there so i as much as i like i'm like I feel for the emperor so far, and like I, I, I think he's being honest with me. I also don't, don't want to become more tentacly. I'm sure I have an necromancer who would probably just dive right into that. Poo! But like, um, not my paladin. Not my paladin. Um, go on. The Orphic hammer. Oh! An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my house of hope, even now. Oh, what deal do you want from me? Very convenient that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? <laughs> and it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. I want Mole back. Where is she? What are you hoping to get out of all of this? Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. Absolutely not! If Will and Gail were here, they'd be losing their minds right now. I'm pretty sure. That's a Netherese artifact on the Elder Brain. And Will will be telling me... This is, this is kind of what Will's thing is, right? Where like, he, in order to save his city, he made a deal with the devil. And now it's like... I don't know, man. I think humanoid ingenuity is enough sometimes. Like, I don't need interference from devils, you know? Maybe as an Oathbreaker, that would be something where she's like, listen, I've broken my oath with my divinity. Like, I, if even my own gods cannot call me back, what power does a devil have over me? I was, I broke free of those chains of obligation, and now I walk my own path, and I have, and I've said it before, the way I kind of see it for her is that she has faith in herself and in the people around her right and that's like how she kind of keeps the paladin thing going is that um if you have to believe in something if there's a cause you have to fight for you know that's the one i think that's a good one to substitute um so i i mean again i think this stuff would make it easier but also if orpheus is free don't i turn into a wiggly worm like that's my thing why are you what exactly is the crown power ancient and full of wonder i have craved it ever since the arch wizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the empire of netheril that was the great age of humanity and netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization i was there the day it all fell apart Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. He's intense. <laughs> 
It was not a happy meeting. I would love this guy to and tell me stories. Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. That would call he to him. a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. You could be Cast lying. Folly, the bards and scholars call it. But that's what everybody says. I call it hope. Oh yeah? The hope of creating a better world, and the perils of unchecked hubris. So you want to be I a god? That the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils. And that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one arch devil supreme, me. Oh yeah. Yeah, I bet you the Wizard of Waterdeep has an update on his journal. <laughs> um. Why didn't you take the crown then? That's a good question. The arch devil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it squirreled away it. in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. All right, well that worked Too out. Too much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. Which is probably for the best. I raged, but only for a decade or so. Then I waited ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. They stole it from a Mephistopheles vault? Yeah, how did they come to have the crown? Through the aid of a diabolist, somebody capable of opening a portal to the hells, deep in the hells. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive. I must. How admit. come you didn't do that? But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the elder brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> But it seems rather angry. It does seem to want its freedom. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. If I was anybody else. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flayer in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be yeah. on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. Yes. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. No. He claims his ambition is to unite uh -huh, the hands, uh -huh. but can he be trusted to stop that? No, don't trust him more than the Emperor. Don't trust him more than you trust the Emperor. No deal, Raphael. I'm leaving. If I was any other character, maybe I might consider it. Sacrificing yourself, although to be fair, as a paladin, sacrificing yourself for the greater good, maybe, you know... But no, 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 no. It's not the greater good if I'm giving... If it was, like, my soul, maybe. But, like, for a power... A, a, an artifact of that much power, the only reason things haven't gone terribly wrong is because it was stuck in a museum piece. Apparently, really heavily well guarded. Otherwise, Raphael would have gone in and gotten it. But what's left of me as a paladin uh, does not want to deal with the devil. I'm leaving. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So... Don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Excuse what? Oh, he just booped us out. What a jerk. Uh, is she getting mad at me? The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet yeah. was within our grasp. Oh, listen. And you refused it. Why? I, because he's a devil! 
we could oh my gosh did you we could sneak into the isn't it like isn't it like in a different dimension freaking can we go infiltrate the house of hope um i don't trust the devil the devil that orphic hammer is probably worthless I don't trust the devil is what it is. I'm not about to let Raphael become Archdevil Supreme, maybe. Why? Is he any worse than Asmodeus, do you suppose? The reigning serpent. He who harvests souls to fight an unwinnable blood war. Worse than Mephistopheles. The devil who slayed his own son. He whose experiments threatened to melt his own frozen throne. <sighs> Your mind is made up. But there's another option. Glory be to the comet. The devil keeps the Orphic hammer in his lair. Uh, if we can find a way in, we can take it. It would give I'll me use it to smash the true as bonds. Yisk Githkar Tafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. First to Voss, then to Raphael's House of Hope. Just don't expect a lavish spread awaiting us this time. Oh, she probably did meet him. Can't slow down. I'm so torn. There you are. What? I thought I lost you. Uh -huh. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. It was nice to have some alone time. It was. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna maybe. Man, I was I'm just glad to have you back. And I knew it's concerning that something could come between us like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? If I hedge my bets and don't trust either of them, I don't. I kind of just want to depend on myself, you know? I feel like that should be a route that I can take. The problem is, is we're gonna go, like, he would find out, I would think, because especially because freaking Maisel, like, we're gonna talk about it with other people, you know? Like, Raphael may have done away with it for a brief moment, but there's no way that the Emperor wouldn't figure it out eventually. <sighs> Fine. Raphael? Well. Thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Oh. They offered me a deal. How very gumptious of him. Gumptious. What were the terms? Wow, he deal? is pushing it. Um. I said no. I am glad you had the sense to turn him down, but it certainly does matter. Anything that threatens our alliance threatens our chances of defeating the Elder Brain. So I ask you again, what were the terms of the deal he offered you? He's being very pushy on it. Hmm. I would not, honestly, I would not suspect him for, of manipulating me, I think, if it wasn't for that was like a couple of the options that I had sometimes talking to him, so now I can't get it out of my head that he's trying to manipulate me. And I, like, if I had thrown my lot in 100%, I'd be like, all right, uh, you know, let's go. You know, like, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. But... The issue is, is I'm not, I don't want to take him up on becoming more illithid, right? It's like, listen, I appreciate your help, and we're kind of on the same side and doing the same thing. But I I don't want to be more illithid -y. Like, I want to be able to remove this parasite at the end of all this, or before it, potentially. I wonder if Orpheus could do I doubt Orpheus could do that. I really would rather have the parasite out of my head before I go fight the Elder Brain. But is it almost better to like go along with the monster in my brain? The better the better the monster that you know and the one you don't. 
like go along with it and then but still like stick my ground on certain things because i def if, if it's a contest i definitely trust the mind flayer more than the devil <laughs> which is certainly a sentence that you can say um and you could look at this as like forming a crack between us so like then we don't work as well together but uh, i don't know again realistically i just realize these are like teeth that's very spooky um he would overhear our conversations, I think, and so he would know, so I will tell him, I guess. He wanted the crown the brain is wearing and offered me the means to free Orpheus. Also, I can potentially get more information, at least maybe biased information on this plan. Like, e even if the mind flare of the Emperor is like, that's so dumb, you know? A horrendous deal. Imagine the crown of sufficient power to dominate an elder brain atop a devil's head. You would be trading one apocalyptic event for another. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I Thank was thinking. Thank you for telling me. And for rejecting If he's manipulating me, he's and doing... Now, we must be doubly on our guard. He's doing such a good the job. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I mean, this is not the I first time. that you will continue to remember who is really I don't the more he talks Without like that my protection you cannot defeat the elder brain you cannot even get close to it no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. of course you would say that <sighs> I'm so torn on this Orpheus thing my biggest thing is that as far as I know if I free Orpheus I mean, like, even the game's like, you don't know if Orpheus will side with you. And so it's making it seem like it's a better choice to not do it. But, like, and if I free Orpheus, would that kill the Emperor? Who has been keeping me alive, but maybe potentially just to use me? I think the biggest thing here is that I keep thinking of the, the Mind Flayer we met in the Deep. In the Underdark. Um, he was just a normal guy. Just a normal guy. For the most part. You know, I mean, he ate murderer brains. when he. And, but he was looking for, like, something else to be able to, like, supplement the craving for brains. You know? Um, so... That's... That's where I'm at, is... I know that mind flayers can be decent if they break free of the other brain. I guess especially as a drow, I don't know if I've already mentioned this before, maybe I have, but as a drow, maybe I'd be more inclined to think that the, if, if once the mind flayers break free of this like all-encompassing brainwashing presence, aka the other brain, aka Wolf, um, then you're your own person and you can make your own decisions. You can choose to be bad, you can choose to be good, you can choose to be a complicated individual that's good and bad things, you know what I mean? So I think the mind flayers aren't born evil, just like the drow aren't born evil. They have to go through like a brainwashing process and they are under the constant influence of Wolf, you know? Um, and once they break free of that, you know, then they, they, can, they can be different, you know? Um, I want to trust him. I really want to trust the Emperor, but I'm also very nervous that I'm going to get taken advantage of, especially because he seems kind of pushy. And I don't want to throw myself in and become an illithid, you know? I could see keeping Orpheus trapped to keep us all sane. But I think we'll lose Lazelle if we do that. And I don't know if that's worth it. Like, I don't, I don't want to do a lose all your companions run. I already think I'm going to lose Asterion, you know? Oh... But I kind of have to stick to my guns, maybe? That's what I did with Shadowheart. It would be fitting to have Lazelle, to be, for me to kill Shadowheart and Lazelle. Because they were the two that were very similar, very, very similar in ways that they didn't even realize. And maybe that's the issue right now, is I'm running up against two women who were very fanatically devoted to their cults. And I'm devoted to my perceptions and belief system, right? And it's clashing. It's too bad as to the ladies, though. And the other... Jahira... I am just... 
a misogynist, apparently. Well, <laughs> or maybe the game is misogynist because freaking they're only giving me chances to kill off the lady characters. Anyway, that's excessive, obviously, as a joke. But, um... I'm gonna have to contemplate. It is 10 o'clock at night now, I've been playing all day. I don't know what's gonna happen when we go downstairs and talk to Voss, and they try to persuade me to free Orpheus. The idea of going to the House of Hope and maybe getting some de some deets, some info on Raphael would be interesting, but I think he's too clever for that. And also, he told us where he was keeping it, which is, again, I feel like he did that on purpose, as a trap. You know? But it feels counterintuitive in a video game to, like, not do a quest that's probably gonna pop up, you know? So, I'm... This is complicated, and I'm probably making it more complicated than it needs to be, but anyway. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. <laughs> really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Riska Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.